Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here, and in today's video we're going to be looking at 5 of the best camp locations in Fallout 76 if you are looking to farm springs, gear, screw, or any of the other rare junk items. This is going to be a continuation of a series where I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different camp locations for various items that you might be trying to farm, so if you missed one of the other videos in the series, make sure to check them out, and make sure you're subscribed so you're first to know when more locations come out. All of the locations in this video feature a relatively central location that will save you some caps when fast traveling around the world as well. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as you can see in the video, if you find any ore deposit in the game, you can place one of these mineral extractors on it. These mineral extractors are learned by default at level 1, so you do not need to find any plans for these. All you need to do is find an ore deposit you want to extract from. This video is going to focus specifically on junk piles, as they provide the items that I've already listed out, as well as some bonus ones. However, future and past videos in the series will cover other resources. The extractors themselves require 10 energy to power, as well as the materials you see on your screen. These extractors work exactly the same as they do at workshops. They passively generate materials while you are away, so whenever you fast travel back to your camp, pick up whatever they generated and continue on your adventure. Our first location on this list is the most beginner friendly of all of the ones in this video. This is actually located right on the edge of the forest, really close to Vault 76, so a good location for a first camp. Additionally, it is located right near the Gorge Junkyard, so while you are farming up junk from the Junk Extractor here, you can go ahead and pick up some additional crafting materials from the Gorge Junkyard by capturing it as soon as you log into the game. As you can see, someone already has built a base on this location because it is such a great spot, and the Junk Extractor is very easily accessible. So I'm going to scroll through some of the items on the Junk Extractor just so you can get an idea of what you can get from this. Now these are not the only things that you can pick up from the Junk Extractor, it has like a rotation of a bunch of different items and it only picks 7 to 10 items to populate in the thing each time it extracts. So keep that in mind, you might not get the exact item that you want every single time. This location isn't the flattest, but it does have a few flat areas so you can farm a few crops while you're there. It's not a perfect farming area, but it does allow you the ability to farm, as well as having a lot of ground so you can put the water purifier that does not require water. Our next location is pretty much dead center on the map, so a great location if you are looking for map accessibility here in Fallout 76. This location features a lot of flat ground, as well as very little shrub coverage. It makes it great for farming and placing plants, so you can easily identify the plant locations. In addition to all of this, the location is also very close to a train station, so you can run over to the train station, sell anything you've gotten from your adventures, and then return back to your camp, pick up your items, and head back out on more adventures. As you can see, we are clearly within walking distance, or running distance, or jogging distance, or whatever you want to call it, of the train station. It literally took like 7 seconds to get here, so a great camp location. This next location is for the bit more adventurous at heart, as it is in one of the higher leveled areas in the game, as well as right near a Deathclaw spawn. This could be a great bonus to you though, because you can farm Deathclaws over and over and get the materials that they drop as well. Additionally, this location is right near Harper's Ferry, so you can head down to the Harper's Ferry bot, trade for his items, and sometimes he has legendary stuff, so a great bot to be located closely to. This location features a lot of flat land for you to place your crops, as well as some low grass, so it's going to be pretty easy to identify your crop locations, especially if you plant in the mud over there to the left. The location is also protected from the reverse side by this cliff, or you could build on top of the cliff and put your jack and extractor below it. Really, whatever you wanted to do in this area, it offers great accessibility. This next location is probably my favorite in the entire game as far as views go because this is absolutely spectacular. Additionally, it features a really central location as well, so you can go ahead and fast travel around the map for a reduced cap cost. This is also the location I featured in the intro, so sorry for repeating the same footage, I'm a bad person, I know. But this junk pile is located right on the edge of a cliff that overlooks the entirety of the Cranberry Bog. It is one of the most spectacular views in the game. On top of this, it features a lot of flat land with very few obstructions, and any of the obstructions that are there, you can clear by building with the new camp demolition features that have been added. I mean, look at this view, it is absolutely spectacular. Another cool thing about this view is that it is facing the sunrise side of the map, so you can watch every single sunrise as it occurs over in West Virginia. Additionally, if you build a 5-story tower here, you can actually see the other side of the map as well, so you can have pretty much a panoramic view of the entirety of the game world. It is spectacular. Our final location in this video is actually just below the previous location, in fact you could see it from the previous clip if you looked closely enough. This junk extractor, similarly to the last location, features a very central location, however it doesn't have as great a view. What it does have over the previous location is the fact that it is completely flat in this area. You can create an amazing farm in this area if you wanted to farm for adhesives or to keep a food crop supply for your entire party. Great location to be doing that is right here. Additionally, with the monorail tower, you could create some interesting base designs by building around it, so it is definitely an interesting location in its own right when compared to the previous location seen in this area. The major draws of this one, as I said, are going to be the flat land for building an elaborate base, as well as having an elaborate farm. But anyway guys, that is basically it for this video. 
I've shown you five locations for junk extractors where you can get some of the rarer and more hard to find materials in the game like springs, screws, gears, all those things. So hopefully one of these locations piques your interest. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and check out some of the other videos in this series as well as some of the other Fallout 76 content on the channel. And if you want to stay up to date when new Fallout 76 videos come out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, I will see you at the next video, peace.